Hey everybody, so I decided that I was going to have this conversation now rather than later because I think that it's very important that we understand what's going on around us because I don't think that most of us understand what's happening. So as I've decoded the beast many times, uh, we understand that the seven heads of the beast the first beast of Revelation 13 are the seven presidents. So knowing that, it's only safe to assume that the beast, in some fashion, is America. So understanding that, I think it's very important that we understand what God blesses America. Okay, when we say God bless America, I know what I meant. I don't say it anymore, but I know what I meant when I did say it. But what do they mean? What do the people at the top mean? Well, this information is all hidden in our money. And so I'm just going to run through real quick and show you guys how it's all in there. And that you cannot support America. And I'm not trying to be anti-patriotic. What I'm trying to be is pro-Jesus, pro-heavenly kingdom. All right, America is not going to be here when the earth is destroyed. So why try to save it? This is the end time. The only thing that matters right now is your salvation and keeping yourself in check. Because if you get taken out at any point throughout this thing, and you're not right with God, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. And I don't want to see any of us end up there. So I think it's really important that we get to the bottom of this. So we're going to look at the money, and we're going to follow the money. We're going to check out the dollar bill and see what it has to tell us. All right. So we're going to talk about the dollar for a minute. Here you see I've taken a picture of the pyramid that's on the back. Beside the obvious all-seeing eye, maybe you would be surprised to learn that there are 72 bricks. Now 72 is not a number that I made up. It's I'm just going to share with you. This is the occultic number. This is what they think, what they believe. This has nothing to do with me. I'm just showing it to you. I think it's stupid, but they think it's real. All right, so there's 72 bricks equals 666. Why is that? Because 66 plus 6 is 72. Again, this is not my system. It's theirs. All right, here I've zoomed out a little bit. Get a little bit closer uh, view of the whole dollar. Because I'm going to put on here a compass from the Masons. So you know what's next, right? The square. And if I put a square and a compass lined up with that all-seeing eye, look at what we get. Mason. Huh? So there's no surprise that these people are controlling the whole earth. Okay? These people are satanic. That is their god right there. Well, they're Luciferian, but they try to make a war between Satan and Lucifer so that you choose Lucifer over Satan, but it's all the same thing. It's a trick to get you to not choose Jesus, okay? It's a trick to get you to choose the light, to get you to choose the the new golden age that's come supposedly coming in if you start believing in this new golden age then you are a luciferian you understand because that's what they're waiting for god's people are waiting for jesus's return lucifer's people are waiting for the golden age how about nasara or Jasari? you ever heard of those you know anybody waiting for those luciferian beliefs yeah, this is hard truth. This isn't going to tickle everybody's ears. All right. Here's something else you might not know. If you add two lines to the Freemason logo, 
you get what people call the Star of David. Let me tell you, this has nothing to do with David. This is a huge deception. This star is satanic. Look here. Six points. Six pyramids or triangles. Six-sided hexagon. That star blatantly says 666 right in it. Believe me, this is satanic. I'm not bringing this stuff to you lightly. Okay, I'm just trying to get you to understand. When I fold the dollar in the shape of a plane over that, that looks like a goat to me. This one might be a stretch. It might not. I don't know. All I'm telling you is just from this dollar bill alone. If you forgot all the history and everything you were taught about America and you were just going to judge your beliefs and set your beliefs on what you were able to find out by their currency, what would you learn from this dollar? What would you then think of America? And who would you think the God that they're reaching out to is? Do you think it's the heavenly God above? Or do you think that it's the God of the money, Lucifer and Satan? And they are two different beings, but they're all in hell. That's the trick. They're trying to get people to chase after this golden age, this new age religion, this new ascension to a new uh, humanity. I'm going to do a video on what's going to happen uh, on the end times out of the book of Estrus, but um, I just wanted to get you guys thinking because you need to start assessing everything. We have been inherited lies. We inherited lies. There is no way around it. Your teachers were taught lies and they taught them to us and we teach them, you know, it's just been handed down the line. And now everybody believes that we live on a globe Everybody believes that God doesn't exist. Not everybody. Obviously, there's us. But that's why it's just a remnant. Because the world has been so misled by all these deceptions and all this fakery that it doesn't even know what to believe anymore. Only God's true people can see what's really happening. And I'm one of them, and I'm trying to warn everyone. So please take these words and think about them. Don't write them off, okay? Because I'm telling you exactly who their God is. And it is not a my God. And I'm sure it is not your God. All right? God bless us.